Spring of 2022 has arrived, Winning. Yeah, and it's nice and warm. That only means one thing. We bought ourselves a 2022 State Park Pass. This is Mound State Park. It is located in Anderson, Indiana, 40 miles northeast of Indianapolis. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And Winning Image Photography. Welcome to another Indiana State Park video featuring Precious, Precious Metals. Metals. Today we find ourselves in Mound State Park. This state park is literally right in our backyard. We only live five miles north of it. It even shares the same river we live on and do our videos from, White River. As the name suggests, Mound State Park contains and preserves some of the finest examples of earthwork and mound building in Indiana. Built by the Adena and Hopewell cultures around 160 BC, the 10 mounds and earthworks within park boundaries range in size from a few inches tall to several feet high. These mounds were used primarily for ceremonial, celebration, and observations of solstices, equinoxes, and stellar events. Research indicates that these mounds were used to track the seasons, positions of more than 100 of the brightest stars, as well as those of the moon and visible planets. Among the first inhabitants of this area were the Adena, who dated to 1000 BC and were primarily a hunter-gatherer society. In the early 19th century, a family of German immigrants, the Braunenbergs, made this site their home. Owning more than 600 acres, they operated a large farm with their fields and pastures located in the present-day picnic areas. They were also known to be lovers of fine horses and would hold races on what is today Mounds Road. In 1897, some of the Braunenberg land was leased to the Indiana Union Traction Company, which operated an amusement park in the southern end of the property. Attractions included a roller coaster, roller skating rink, a shooting gallery, carousel, boat rides on the river, and a pavilion with a restaurant on the first floor and a dance hall on the second. Many dance marathons of the Roaring Twenties were held there, but when the Great Depression began, this business, like so many others, simply failed. The Madison County Historical Society then purchased the land and donated it to the state of Indiana. Mounds Park became Mounds State Park in October 1930. We are now on our way to the Great Mound. It is one of many earthworks contained within the state park. The term earthworks includes any structure made from the earth. In Native American studies, there are three primary types, mounds, circular enclosures, and complexes. All are found in central Indiana and in this state park. Mound State Park has a complex of enclosures, both circular and rectangular. There are seven enclosures and four additional earthworks, which have been divided into two groups, the Northern Complex and the Southern Complex. The Great Mound enclosure is the dominant structure in the park and in the Southern group, which we are heading towards right now. But before we do, we're gonna stop by the Brandenburg House. German immigrant Frederick Bronnenberg arrived in this area with his wife, Barbara, and several children in 1821. While traveling to Illinois, one of their oxen in the team gave out nearby. The 
Brandenburgs decided to make their home here in Madison County. Twelve children were born to Frederick and Barbara Brandenburg. Their second eldest son, Frederick Jr., married Hulda Tree in 1840 and began this home now of one of Madison County's oldest dwellings. It is thought that the limestone foundation was quarried from the nearby White River. The bricks were handmade and fired here for the 14-inch thick interior and exterior walls. The woodwork is large tulip tree harvested from the property. Much of the land near the park's entrance and in the picnic area were once pastures and fields of grain. This site is included in the National Register of Historic Places. Around this corner, we get our first view of the Great Mound, Mound State Park's most prominent feature. The Great Mound. It is believed to have been constructed around 160 BC. The Great Mound is a circular earth enclosure with an internal ditch to its southwest entrance. The earthworks measure 390 foot across from bank to bank. The nine foot tall embankment is 63 foot wide at its base and the ditch is 10 and a half feet deep and 60 feet across at its top. The central platform is 138 feet across and was occupied by a four foot high central mound, 30 foot in diameter. This 5-ounce silver round is the third release in the Awakening series. Here we are inside a circus tent, 
A banker is center stage juggling hand grenades. His pockets are overflowing with dollar bills and at his feet sits a suitcase overflowing with cash. On either side of him are the iconic stock market symbols. The bull, who is balancing a beach ball on its head, and the bear, who is riding an undersized bike. Both are dressed in ruffled skirts. Signage hangs on the curtain with terms associated with a bad market and deceptive practices. On each grenade the banker is juggling are the names of major players in illegal practices on Wall Street, such as Bernie Madoff, Enron, etc. Encircling the bottom rim is a single inscription, Welcome to Wall Street. I find it interesting that all the earthworks and these mounds were preserved by an amusement park. Had it not been for that, they'd have been destroyed for sure. And now we're going to go for a walk around another mound. A second mound? I should have brought Libertad's. Okay, then. What? That was funny. Twice. <laughs> all right, everyone. We're going to bring this one to close. Remember to like, subscribe. And all those other good things. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.